Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. XRP holders today can sign up to sue Bill Hinman and Jay Clayton for all of their nonsense as they were top officials at the SEC. You may recall that about a month ago, uh, there was a lawsuit filed against both of them, and it was uh, since pulled back. So I'll, I'll do a little, you know, place, place setting before uh, getting into the video. Uh, you may recall that was the case, but uh, now we have an update, brand new update for you. And it looks like ultimately that lawsuit is going to go forward and looks like support is being requested. Let me just word it that way. Also, uh, let me put out a little bit of a warning for you here. Take a look at this headline from Decrypt. Coinbase shares plunge after company misses Q1 revenue posts $430 million loss. Okay, so that sounds bad enough. For the first quarter, Coinbase lost a boatload of money. Uh, are you using Coinbase? If so, uh, just be aware of this, and I'm going to get into the specifics, but uh, Coinbase has put out uh, a new disclaimer and warns that if they go bankrupt, and this is new, they, they hadn't stated this before, but if they go bankrupt, uh, you're, you're basically, if you're a customer, you basically just become a creditor. Go to bankru bankruptcy court. Uh, if this isn't the <laughs> like the, the, be the, the best... Um, uh, get your act into gear and take self-custody that you've ever seen. I don't know what is then. If you have your cryptocurrency on any exchange, this is not just against Coinbase. And, uh, and and by the way, there's no indication that they actually are today going to go bankrupt. I'm not stating that. I'm just saying that their revenue, not looking so hot, they're losing money hand over fist. And then, while well, at the same time this is happening, they're warning, eh, just so you know, if we go bankrupt, um, your crypto isn't your crypto immediately, if ever. That doesn't sound so good. So keeping crypto on exchange, any exchange, not just Coinbase, really not the best idea. This is a call to action to uh, take self-custody. But uh, before going further, I do want to be clear. I do not have a legal or financial background of any kind. I am not offering legal or financial advice. And you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. Okay, just to quickly get everybody caught up to speed, here's an article from Coinpedia from April 14th of this year, titled Ripple vs. SEC Update. Hinman and Clayton get sued for role played in the case. Earlier, there were so many attempts by the XRP community to investigate the role played by former executives of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission in the ongoing legal war between Ripple and the SEC. However, today, Jay Clayton and William Hinman both have been sued by XRP enthusiast Shannon O'Leary, and has done uh, done this via U.S. litigator Fred Rispoli. And so Fred Rispoli, of course, is a member of the XRP community himself. And then the piece continues. The lawsuit states that the two violated federal regulations in their persecution of XRP. The former executives have acted in favor of their previous and the present employees strongly connecting with Ethereum so that it acts against XRP holders. So I, I gave a very in-depth... Um, I, I, well, I prov let me word it this way. I provided very in-depth coverage and gave my perspective on what was going on at the time. And um, after this lawsuit was filed, Attorney John Deaton was uh, critical, I think it's fair to say, of the way that uh, this was going down and was concerned that it could impact his case. And uh, Fred Rispoli, Attorney Rispoli, did speak with Attorney Deaton. And after completing that conversation, he, um, he decided to go ahead and um, d d whatever the right word is for, dismiss the lawsuit retract it, whatever the word is for, legally. So lawsuit canceled at that point in time, but he, he, he even said back then, uh, doesn't mean that it's not going to happen in the future. It's more like, let's wait until the timing is right, which seems perfectly reasonable. So nothing against Mr. Rispoli. I think that it's fantastic that he's looking out for the XRP community. And so if this makes more strategic sense to wait, then that's fine. And it looks now that he's saying, hey, if you want to jump on board and help out, you actually can. Take a look at this new tweet from attorney Rispoli. This is from literally just yesterday. He wrote, update, xrplawsuits.com to sign up for lawsuit against ex-SEC officials Jay Clayton and William Hinman. Please complete the one-minute form. If you want to sue the SEC and hold XLM, ADA, DOT, or ALGO, send direct messages, and then there's an email on the screen if you guys care to do that. And so there's other stuff at play too, but here's the actual website, and here it is. 
uh, class member interest sign a page. So this this will be a class action lawsuit uh, once it is refiled. So for anybody that's interested in jumping on in, uh, have at it. Here's the form. He said it takes less than one minute to fill out. And uh, I, I'll tell you this. Like, these people, Bill Hinman and Jay Clayton, you know that these have to be some arrogant sons of bitches to, to just so flagrantly leave this trail of, of, of what just extreme improprieties and then think that you're just going to get away with it. Well, maybe you will get away with it, but maybe not because you pissed off a huge community of XRP holders. I'll tell you that. So we'll see what comes of this. And look, I I, I don't know that in terms of legality where this goes. I'm Like I said, I'm not a lawyer, so I'm not making any legal claims against them. I'm just telling you, a lot of the times in my life experience where there's smoke, there's fire. And there are some serious appearances of impropriety that we as a community have been co- uncovering for over a year now. Uh, now into this next topic. There was uh, Jeff Roberts, who is the executive uh, executive editor. Yeah, executive editor at uh, crypto media outlet Decrypt, and I cover some of their stuff from time to time. I think that Decrypt does a pretty good job. And Jeff Roberts tweeted out the following uh, just uh, a little bit earlier today: "said Coinbase earnings about to drop could be a big momentum shifter. If they beat expectations, it could help staunch the crypto wide freefall. If they miss, look out below." We'll have full coverage on Decrypt Media soon. Now, Ripple's uh, general manager of, of RippleNet, Ashish Birla, he responded to that and wrote the following. He said, Curious how they beat expectations if the numbers were set pre-market meltdown. We are about to find out. And so what he's stating there is that when they put out their goals for the quarter initially, it was before the, the, the crypto markets on the whole started to melt down within the last few months in particular. And so setting expectations before you knew that the market was going to melt down ain't good when you eventually have to report, um, <laughs> you know, for, the, for what happened for Q1. So I wasn't expecting good numbers and the numbers were not good. And this is scary stuff. It, like, if you again, if you've got crypto on Coinbase or any exchange, this is a call to action as far as I'm concerned. So here's the headline from Decrypt. Coinbase shares plunge after company misses Q1 revenue posts $430 million loss. Coinbase released its earnings for the first quarter of 2022, and the results will do little to improve the dour mood in the crypto markets. The company disclosed that it pulled in $1.17 billion in revenue, well short of the $2.5 billion it took in Q4, and far below analysts' Q1 predictions of $1.5 billion dollars. Meanwhile, Coinbase posted a quarterly loss of $430 million. And so folks, you might be wondering, how is it that they pull in $1.17 billion and they lose money? Well, I don't know the specifics, but I can tell you this. If you're a business and you have X amount of staff because you're doing X amount of revenue, and then that revenue drops, you may have more employees than you need to do all sorts of jobs. So I don't know if that's their their case. I haven't delved in any further. I, I don't know the specifics there. But I'm telling you, if you are a company and you were set up to handle a certain amount of volume, and then it drops and you're making less money, this is not good. (laughs) And so you can see here in Q1, they lost $430 million. But, um, and so here's the price. Um, You can see the the close was at $72.99, and they were actually up to, um, gosh, in November when Bitcoin is at $67,000 or so, whatever it was, uh, I mean, Coinbase is somewhere around like the $350 mark. So the stock's been plummeting on top of all of this. And um, worse for holders, and actually, let me give a shout out real quick before I forget here. Shout out to the crypto commander uh, who tagged me along with others in the community in this tweet. Thank you very much. I do appreciate this. The crypto commander wrote, I think it's about uh, I think it's about that time to get all of it off of the exchanges, put it all on ice and into some deep freezing cold storage. Thoughts? Uh, yeah, my thoughts are you're spot on which is why I retweeted this a little bit before I recorded this video. And this in itself was a, a retweet from somebody named Sophia who, sh- who shared the actual um, document that cited this. And this is alarming. It's what's on your screen right now. This comes directly from Coinbase. The highlighted part is what's relevant, so I'll read that. Moreover, because custodially held crypto assets may be considered to be the property of a bankruptcy estate, in the event of a bankruptcy... The crypto assets we hold in custody on behalf of our customers could be subject to bankruptcy proceedings 
and such customers could be treated as our general unsecured creditors. Yeah, so uh, translation, you might not get anything or you might get less than what the dollar value is at the time that they declare bankruptcy. So if you have anything on their exchange or anything else, you might want to consider putting it in a cold storage. And, and look, again, this doesn't mean that Coinbase is going to go bankrupt. That is not the message that I'm conveying. I'm saying you never know what's going to happen in life. And they just lost, like I said, a boatload of money. If that, if that keeps going, they're going to have some problems. They're going to have to find a way to scale down, uh, get back to a point where they're in profit again. And that could be doable, too. I'm not saying that this is doomsday for the company, but I am saying look at how much money they lost. And then at the same time, they're putting out this new uh, little disclaimer here about what bankruptcy would mean for their customers. Put two and two together, my friends. Ain't good. <laughs> All right. And I know a lot of you out there, you might, you my fellow XRP family members here. I know a lot of you um, may still have, I don't know what percentage, but I, I bet a lot of you uh, still have some XRP on Coinbase because they do allow you to hold it. So just food for thought. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.